Hey everyone, my name is Jason and this is Netminder Review. Today I want to ask and discuss this question. What's up with Corey, Bl Corey Blackwood? No, 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 no. Let's try that again. Corey Crawford. What's up with Corey Crawford? Why do I ask that question? What's up with Chicago goaltender Corey Crawford? I ask that question because he's 35 years old right now. He'll turn 36 in December. He is um, at the end of his contract. His six-year deal with Chicago ends at the end of this season. He becomes an unrestricted free agent. And I was pondering the idea, should Chicago re-sign him? Should the Chicago Blackhawks re-sign Corey Crawford for next year or the year after that or for however long, being that he is 35 years old? Now, that question in a sense, may have been answered when they traded Robin Leonard to the Golden Knights. Uh, there could have been some attempt by Chicago to re-sign Robin Leonard, but there wasn't. They traded him away. And that might suggest that they intend to try to re-sign Corey Crawford to uh, another year, another two years, three, I don't know how many, but that they may be looking at Corey Crawford as their goaltender of the uh, near future, the next year or so. Now, he has played his entire career with the Chicago Blackhawks, 488 games, all for Chicago. Of those 488 that he's played, he started 474 of them. He started 50 games or more six times. And he probably would have started 50 games or more this year if the season had not been put on hold. And then I believe that one of the years that he played was the lockout year. And I also believe that one year he had an appendicitis, an emergency uh, appendix or appendectomy. And that uh, undoubtedly shortened that year. So he has been overall extremely reliable, starting over 50 games, as I said, six times. And uh, anytime you have a goaltender who can start 50 games for you on a regular basis, you have someone that you can depend on. And Corey Crawford has been that for the Chicago Blackhawks. Uh, in the last 10 years, which that's not his entire career with the, with the Blackhawks, but it's the time, the last 10 seasons have been the seasons where he's really been the starter and played the bulk of the games. He, uh, in those 10 years, he... Mm -hmm. There it is. I'm sorry. My notes got convoluted on me. Uh, his worst goals against average that he's had in those 10 years is 2.93. So he's never had a, goal, a goals against average in the last 10 years above three. And uh, in the year that he had the 293 goals against average, he only started 39 games. This year, his goals against average is 277. And he also has started 39 games this year, although he's played in 40. His worst save percentage in the last 10 years was 903. And that was in the 2011-2012 season. This year, his save percentage is 917, which ties him for 15th best in the NHL. His statistics are quite good. I did a video um, maybe a week ago. I think it was. I think it was last Sunday where I talked about which goaltenders this year have given their teams the best chance to win night in and night out. And Corey Crawford was on that board for, for goaltenders who have done an excellent job uh, giving their team a fantastic chance to win. Now, I know Chicago has been down this year, but it hasn't been on Corey Crawford. I'm not saying he hasn't had any bad games. Every goaltender has bad games. But overall, again this year, he has been strong, and if you're interested in seeing that information and how I came to that conclusion that Corey Crawford is giving his team an excellent chance to win on a regular basis, go back and watch that video, and I'll try to remember to link to it in the, um, in the description for this video. In his time with Chicago, he's won two Stanley Cups. In his time with Chicago, he's won two Jennings trophies. But at 35 years old, is he a viable option? His statistics this year are better than his statistics were last year. So he's made improvements. He's not been consistently getting worse as some goaltenders do when you look at their statistics year over year. 
So statistically, I think it's fair to argue that Chicago would not be making a mistake bringing him back for next season or maybe even the season after that, depending. But at 35 years old, what options are there for Chicago? Mm, I didn't really say that right. Let me rephrase that. But at 35 years old, is he a great option for Chicago going into next year? And what other options do they have? Well, they don't have Robin Leonard. He's gone. So that's not an option. They have Malcolm Subban. Hmm. Yeah, I don't think so. I don't think Malcolm Subban is very likely to be the uh, starter for the Chicago Blackhawks next season. So that's not really an issue. So what other options do they have? Well, there's always free agency, right? And I have not yet done a deep dive into which goaltenders are going to be free agents at the end of this season. Obviously, Corey Crawford is. Robin Leonard is, but I don't think they're going to want to bring him back after having traded him. They had their chance at that. And then um, beyond that, I'm not real sure. I'm I'm going to I'm intending to do uh, some research sometime in the near future to look at which goaltenders are going to be available in free agency this off season. But right now, I don't have that information. Well, what do the Hawks have in their farm system? Well, they have eight goaltenders. They have eight goaltending prospects uh, in their system. They have three that are in the AHL level currently. They have two in the KHL over in Russia and Europe. They have one in the Q, in the QMJHL. They have one in the USHL, and they have one in the EIHL. And if you're asking, what's the EIHL? It's actually a league in Great Britain. He's a German goaltender that is playing for them in a uh, in a league in Great Britain. So those are their prospects. Eight prospects, only three of which are at the AHL level, two at the KHL level. So a KHL level goalie could certainly come right over. And the rest are not really in position to come up. But out of all eight of those guys, one, one of them, ooh, there's a shadow on my face. I don't have the lighting quite right for this. Let's go over here. One of those uh, goaltenders that they have in their system, only one, has any NHL experience at all. And that's Colin Delia. And he has played an entire 18 games. Actually, it may not even be an entire 18 games. He's played 18 games. How much of those 18 games he played, I, I don't know. So this guy has 18 games NHL experience, all with Chicago and in that time, in those 18 games, his goals against average is almost four. Not, 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 not great. And his save percentage is hovering right around 900. So I'm not seeing a minor league or a prospect goaltender in their system right now that would be ready to just make the jump into the NHL if they don't bring back Corey Crawford. If they don't bring back Corey Crawford, they're going to have to bring in somebody, an NHL-level goaltender, somebody who already has significant experience in the NHL, either via trade or either via uh, free agency. So if the Hawks don't make a move for another goaltender, um, it's going to have to be Corey Crawford. They're going to have to make him their answer. They're going to have to make it a priority to extend his contract. And then, of course, the question becomes, will he re-sign? Would Corey Crawford stay with Chicago? I don't know Corey Crawford. I don't know what goes on in the man's head. And I don't, uh, I don't have any insight. I haven't really read any articles or done any deep research. I will say he's been with Chicago his entire career. I know that he's married. He has a son that was born in 2017. Maybe he's put down deep roots in Chicago, considering how long he's been there. He's originally from Canada, from the province of Quebec. Um, maybe, though, uh, he would want to stay in Chicago for the fact that he's always been in Chicago in his NHL career. And, and you know, again, maybe he's put down roots there. I hope he does. I, I'm going to move from uh, statistical analysis here to opinion, okay? I hope that Corey Crawford re-signs, and I hope that Chicago wants to re-sign him. Why? Well, because Corey Crawford is a Blackhawk. Corey Crawford has been a Blackhawk his entire NHL career. When I think right now, Chicago Blackhawks, I think Jonathan Taves, I think Patrick Kane, I think Duncan Keith, Brent Seabrook, and I think Corey Crawford. Corey Crawford is 
Chicago Blackhawk through and through. And I want, I badly want Corey Crawford to re-sign with Chicago and finish out his career and retire. I'm, if you guys have watched my videos, you know I'm a St. Louis guy. Not a Blackhawks fan, not gonna lie about that, not a Blackhawks fan. Uh, but being a St. Louis guy and loving both hockey and baseball, I am a big fan of St. Louis Cardinals, St. Louis baseball Cardinals catcher, Yadier Molina. Molina has been a Cardinal his entire career. Yadier Molina is the St. Louis Cardinals in so many respects. And it appears that he is going to finish his career and retire as a Cardinal. And to me, that's awesome. I mean, here in St. Louis, when you talk about, you know, Mr. St. Louis Cardinal, it's always been Stan Musial because he played his whole career uh, with the Cardinals and that's so rare and he did so many great things with the Cardinals and he has he was just always associated with the Cardinals and Yadier Molina is going to be that for the St. Louis Cardinals in the future all right and that doesn't happen much in sports today it's extremely rare I mean being a St. Louis guy I can right off the bat think of Martin Brodeur who finished his career with St. Louis Right, he had that little tiny stint with with St. Louis after being a, a New Jersey Devil his his whole career, and I personally think it's really cool when when guys play their entire career with one team, and I want that for Corey Crawford. I think that would be really awesome. However, here's my next question: I can see all sorts of reasons why Corey Crawford would want to stay with the, with the Chicago Blackhawks. And I can see good reasons why the Chicago Blackhawks would want to keep Corey Crawford. He's been strong. He's been solid this season. Goaltending has not been their issue. Corey Crawford is still a starting NHL goaltender. I mean, a starting level NHL goaltender. He is still good and he can still win enough games to take a team to the playoffs and take them deep into the playoffs. I believe that. So here's my next question. Let's say Chicago wants him. Let's say uh, he wants to stay. How do you fans in Chicago feel? Sometimes, I don't know why, because it's not like I spend a lot of time reading Chicago uh, sports media, but sometimes I, I get the impression that he's just kind of an un, unsung hero in Chicago. It, are you a, a Blackhawks fan, and how do you uh, perceive or feel about Leonard? Do I'm um, Leonard, about Crawford. Do you want Crawford back? Do you love Corey Crawford? Do you see Corey Crawford as being somebody that you could call Mr. Blackhawk, you know? Because that's how I see him. Uh, and why do I see him that way? Well, I see him that way because he's played for him for a long time, so I naturally associate him with them. But he has played well. Two Stanley Cups. That is not insignificant. And I know there are people who would say, yeah, well, look at the team he was on. It wasn't a Corey Crawford uh, led team that won the Stanley Cup. They just brought him along. I've heard that argument. I disagree. Yes, they were excellent teams, but Corey Crawford, if you go back and look at his statistics from those seasons, he was fantastic. He was really good. Maybe he's not Dominic Hasek on the highlight reel or Felix Potvin or Curtis Joseph or, you know, even Marc-Andre Fleury or some of these, these guys who, um, who fill up our highlight reels, but he is good. He is good. How good is he in the, in the grand scheme of things? Well, in Chicago Blackhawks history, third most games played. Now you can say, well, that doesn't make him good, right? He can play a lot of games and not be good. Well, yeah, I guess he could, but let's face it, teams aren't going to keep trotting a goaltender out there just for the fun of it if he can't win. And he has the third most wins in Chicago Blackhawks history. Among all the goaltenders who have ever played for Chicago, he has won the thir third most games. And you could argue, well, yeah, but it was the team in front of him. They're so good. Just like you could argue the Pittsburgh Penguins in front of Tom Barrasso were just so good, or the Edmonton Oilers in front of Grant Fuhrer were just so good. And yes, they were fantastic teams, but they were not, Grant Fuhrer and Tom Barrasso, bad goaltenders. They were strong goaltenders, and they had amazing teams in front of them. 
And the same is true for Corey Crawford. Excellent goaltender, amazing team in front of him. Second best. This one, this one might throw you, especially if you're not a big Corey Crawford fan. Second best save percentage in the history of the Chicago Blackhawks amongst all of their goaltenders who have started 75 games or more. And by the way, or play, I'm sorry, played in 75 games or more. And by the way, Crawford has played in 488. That's way more than 75. But only one goaltender, only one goaltender in Blackhawks history has a better save percentage and he's only played 75 games. Now, there are a few others that have better save percentages because they only played like one game or two games. So I wanted to take a look at guys who have actually played some games. So one guy has a better save percentage, and he's played 75 games. Corey Crawford has 488 games, and he has the second best save percentage in Chicago Blackhawks history and the third best goals against average in Chicago Blackhawks history among goaltenders who have played 75 games or more. And... He has the seventh most shutouts in Chicago Blackhawks history, and he's not far from making it to fourth. He's seventh now. The two guys ahead of him, immediately ahead of him, only have two more shutouts than, than he does. If he re-signs with Chicago, he's probably going to get that next year and move up to uh, fifth, and he's only four behind Ed Belfour. And if he passes Ed Belfort, so if he were to re-sign next year and get four shutouts, I believe it was four. And I should have written that down. I'm almost positive it was four. If it wasn't four, it was not many more than that, five or six. But I'm pretty sure it was four. He's only four shutouts behind Ed Belfort. If he were to re-sign uh, with the Blackhawks and play just one more season, he could get that. And then he would be in fourth place in Chicago Blackhawks history in shutouts. He's one of the top goaltenders in games played, wins, save percentage, goals against average, and he's not far off from being one of the top in shutouts in the history of the Chicago Blackhawks organization. That's pretty impressive. I see Corey Crawford as being a Blackhawk for his whole career, and he should be a Blackhawk for life. I hope they re-sign him. I hope he wants to re-sign and I hope not only that that re-signing happens, but that he continues to play well and prove that he deserves and, well, that he deserved to be re-signed and that he deserves to be in net for the Chicago Blackhawks next year and maybe the year after that, maybe the year after that. Maybe he'll be still be Mr. Blackhawk at age 38 or 39. I don't know, but I hope he is. I kind of like Corey Crawford. I'm not like a big, huge Corey Crawford fan. It's hard for me to be a big fan of anything from Chicago. Sorry, I'm a St. Louis guy. I admit it. But I, I do like Crawford, and I want to see him do well. Let me know what you think, uh, if, especially if you're a Chicago fan. I really, really am interested in your opinion on this matter. Thank you so much for watching. Please hit the little uh, like button. I don't know. Is it? down here or down here would you hit that please but more importantly than the like button would you hit the subscribe button where wherever it is down here please hit that i would really appreciate that that would be so amazing of you and please keep watching my videos i really appreciate it let me know what you think and have yourself an awesome day bye now